Well guys, we've managed to hit the 10,000 mile mark on these Mitre CO7 tyres. That's a remarkable achievement for any tyre to be fair, but especially one that's a 50-50 trail road tyre. Actually, they are a 60-40 road trail tyre. But when you consider the mileage, the type of riding, both with mixed road and trail, to get to 10,000 miles on these tyres is absolutely superb. There's still life left in them, although I can feel the wear on them now. But let's have a look and see what the uh, tyre depths are, because I've been doing this every thousand miles. And now we're at the 10,000 mile mark. I just want to give you the readings. Uh, I'm going to see these tyres through for another couple of months, as long as they stay legal, because we're in uh, late November, just about into December. And I don't really want to put tyres on before, new tyres on before Christmas. Um, I'd rather put them on around about February, March. But let's have a look and see what the wear pattern's been on them. So I've already uh, pre-checked these tyre depths. And I'm sure after uh, 10 reviews, you're probably fed up of me actually uh, using a tyre depth gauge on them. Anyway, I have checked them already. And um, on the front tyre, the previous reading at 9,000 miles was... 7.25 on the outer edge, which I class this as the sort of outer edge, not the very outer edge, but here. And right bang in the middle, the 9,000 mile mark was 6.25. So now the middle is six millimeter. So it's lost quarter of a millimeter. And the outer actually is still the same at 7.25 maybe marginally less than 7.25 but obviously the most of the wear is on the middle band of the tire so a little close up of the tires you can still see see that they're still fairly blocky in nature and perfectly suitable for going on gravel probably not so for anything more than that and from a point of view of how the the bike performs I am getting a slight um, vibration um, and I think that's probably due to the wear on the front tyre because they do wear a little bit uneven because at 10,000 miles you can almost expect these tyres are about finished although they look okay so it could be more to do with things I've bolted to the bike but I am getting a little bit of vibe on that and also, I can I can feel the tyres. They're still okay on the road, but I don't think they're going to last more than another thousand, maybe a couple of thousand miles, them front tyres. Now, clearly, uh, the rear of the tyre is uh, taking the brunt of the wear, as it would do with most bikes. And the middle banding at 9,000 miles was four millimeter and this outer banding here that i measure was 8.75 so i've just measured these and at this point here right down the middle that's now down to 3.75 so it's lost a quarter pretty much like the front tire so on the outer edge they have remained very similar, fractionally worn, maybe about 8.7 as opposed to 8.75. Uh, but the, the tread has come off the middle here. So with this uh, back tyre now, I'm just nursing this back tyre through because I don't really want to change it unless I absolutely have to. The legal limit is uh, one millimetre for a motorcycle tyre in the UK. Uh, I'm not going to take them to one. Uh, I'll take them no less than two millimetre. If they get to two, they're finished. So on this basis, I might just be able to squeeze through till March as long as I don't do a huge amount of mileage. But obviously we'll see. Um, they're still gripping on the road. They're still doing okay. There wouldn't be much use off-road now. Um, but they do feel okay on the road. So we'll nurse them through, and if I have to change them, I'll change them before March. So there you go, guys. Uh, slight wear on them, as you'd expect. Uh, remarkable that we can get these tyres to 10,000 miles. I suspect 
with a little bit of care riding, I'll probably get them through to 12,000. But they will be uh, well and truly, at least the rear will be well and truly finished by then. If it was spring, I'd change them now. Uh, but because I'm not going to be doing as much riding uh, through winter, particularly this winter, I'm not going to be riding that much. Um, I'm going to try and hold out. But cannot go wrong with my CO7 Plus Enduro Trail tyres. And I don't get sponsored. I bought these and I'm going to have to buy the next pair. But boy, 10,000 miles plus is remarkable. And they have great road holding. Um, I do get asked the question, are they any good in the wet? Well, it's like any tyre. Um, as soon as you get onto uh, wet roads, you need to be a bit more cautious. If you're riding a bike with trail tyres, 50-50 type tyres, you've got to be extra more careful. If there's debris on the road and leaves, you've just got to be slow. So if you ride appropriately uh, and ride with engine braking without dabbing your brakes all the time, the road conditions don't affect you with these tyres. Now I've been riding for 44 years. So there is a degree of experience in that and sometimes experience through mistakes. But truly, these tyres will perform anywhere, anytime, as long as you ride appropriately to the conditions. Anyway, for now, guys, I'm going to get off because I'm wild camping and the uh, sun's starting to go a little bit. And I've got about an hour to get to where I'm going to tonight. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, let's see what happens. If I get to 11, if I get to 12, I will report it because I've been doing this every thousand miles. And when we're finished, I'll give a really good sum up of what I think at the end of the life of these tyres. Thanks again. Thumbs up if you can. Subscribe if you can. All helps. And I'll see you again another time.